And uh, now we move on to um, chapter four in Horn and Johnson, um, which is Hermitian and symmetric matrices. Okay, so Hermitian and symmetric matrices are special matrices, which are, uh, I mean, I'm distinguishing them only uh, in terms of uh, uh, complex versus real. A Hermitian matrix is one where A conjugate transpose equals A, and a symmetric matrix is a real valued matrix where A is equal to A transpose. Uh, but these arise naturally in a variety of applications. So, uh, for example, if you're uh, looking at the, uh, looking at a function, F, which is defined from some uh, n-dimensional real space, which I call D, to the real line, then, uh, and suppose it is twice continuously differentiable. We define the Hessian of Hessian matrix for this F as uh, as a matrix uh, H of X, which is uh, an N cross N matrix whose entries are H I J of X and each H I J is the second partial derivative of this F with respect to X I and X J. So this is a function of N variables you take the second partial derivative with respect to xi and xj, and this is a matrix that will be in R to the n cross n. Okay, and uh, a key property of, uh, uh, this is very important in uh, optimization, and especially in optimization, differential equations and so on. But a key property of uh, this partial derivatives is that dou squared f over dou xi dou xj is equal to dou squared f over dou xj dou xi. This is a fundamental property of these part uh, partial derivatives for every i j equal to 1 to up to n. And as a consequence, uh, h is equal to h transpose. i.e. it is symmetric. Similarly, if we look at what is known as the quadratic form, so suppose we are given an a in r to the n cross n and x in r to the n, then consider q of x, which could be one example of this function f here. q of x is equal to x transpose ax. Then, um, so note that we can always write a as one half of a plus a transpose plus one half of a minus a transpose. This can always be written. Basically, half a transpose cancels with minus half a transpose. And half a and half a add up to give you a. So this is always true. So if I if I substitute for this in here, that means that q of x is equal to half x transpose a plus a transpose x plus half x transpose a minus a transpose times x, uh, and uh, if A is a symmetric matrix, then uh, actually A, A need not even be symmetric here. So if you just examine this x, x transpose A minus A transpose x, this is equal to x transpose A x minus x transpose A transpose x, but this is a scalar. So 
its transpose is equal to itself. So for any scalar, this is equal to scalar. And so the transpose of this is X transpose A transpose X. And so these two are always going to be equal. So this is equal to zero. And so um, this Q of X is actually equal to one half X transpose A plus A transpose times X. Now, uh, what that means is that A and one half A plus A transpose generate the same quadratic form. Okay, so basically that means this is a very, very crucial point actually. So that means that if you're interested in studying quadratic forms, it is sufficient to study quadratic forms generated by symmetric matrices. Okay, so um, so we will we will uh, we will be studying quadratic forms generated by uh, symmetric matrices, and finally a third example is that um, uh, I'm out of time, so I'll just very briefly mention it in, in graph theory. Um, we define an adjacency matrix. A graph is defined by a set of vertices and edges, and uh, um, uh, an edge exists, so the set of vertices you can denote it by one to n. So if there are n vertices in the graph, then uh, you can label those vertices as one to n. And edges are pairs of indices, uh, pairs of vertices, i, j, i1, j1, i2, j2, etc. And an edge exists if the, the, the two nodes i and j are connected to each other. And we define an adjacency matrix um, if, uh, to be a matrix A which contains entries a i j where a i j equals one if there exists an edge between nodes i and j and zero otherwise and uh, if the graph is undirected Undirected means the edges don't have a direction associated with them. So you have two nodes. You define an edge like this, not with an arrow going like this. It's, a, it's an undirected graph, then uh, undirected graphs. So these are three examples where uh, symmetric matrices arise. And so with this background, we will actually start in the next class uh, studying about Hermitian and symmetric matrices. They have lots of... Uh, very intricate, very beautiful properties, and so we'll cover them.